हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय स्टूडेंट सपोर्ट सिस्टम इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अ चाइल्डहुड डिसऑर्डर दैट इज इसोफेजियल अट्रेजिया एंड ट्रिक्यू इसोफेजियल फिस्टूला और टीओ फिस्टूला दिस लेक्चर इज इन इंग्लिश इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी इन हिंदी जस्ट क्लिक ऑन आई बटन so that you can watch the video in hindi and you can also visit this channel let us start what is esophageal atresia atresia means a blockage or a blind pouch so here esophageal atresia is a rare birth defect that affects a baby's esophagus what is esophagus it is also known as food pipe through which the food passes from mouth to the stomach the upper part of esophagus doesn't connect with the lower part of esophagus uh, lower part of esophagus and the stomach it usually ends in a pouch which means food cannot reach to the stomach here you can see this is the upper part of esophagus and this is lower part of esophagus and stomach so there is no communication in between so food cannot enter into the stomach this is a birth defect and is called esophageal atresia next is tracheoesophageal fistula or to fistula esophageal atresia often happens alone or with another birth defect that is called tracheoesophageal fistula which is a connection between lower part of the esophagus and windpipe or trachea here you can see the food pipe can communicate with trachea so this is a fistula or communication is formed between trachea and esophagus esophagus so it is known as to fistula this is also a serious disorder now classification of to fistula classification depends upon the pattern by which the esophagus is attached to the trachea and depending upon this system it is of five types type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 and type 5 we will discuss these types one by one first is type 1 in this type there is a blind pouch at the upper segment and a blind pouch at lower segment of the esophagus there is no fistula between esophagus and trachea here you can see these are pouches and no communication with the trachea so this is atresia only this is type 1 next is type 2 in this type there is a blind pouch at the lower segment of esophagus and the fistula is formed between upper segment and the esophagus and the trachea here you can see this is lower blind pouch and upper esophagus connects with the trachea so this is type 2 to fistula next is type 3 in this type there is a blind pouch at upper segment of the esophagus and fistula is formed between lower segment of esophagus and trachea like this this is upper blind pouch and lower part of esophagus is attached with trachea so it is type 3 now type 4 in this type there are two fistulas between esophagus and trachea both upper segment and lower segment of esophagus develop fistula with trachea like this so this is upper part and this is fistula this is lower part and this is fistula so both are connected with trachea now we come to fifth type in this type there is no atresia of esophagus means esophagus is continuous but fistula is developed between esophagus and trachea you can understand this by this picture 
this is esophagus this is trachea and there is a fistula formation so this is type 5 so if this birth defect is present then what features appear what are the signs and symptoms of TO fistulas actually sign and symptom of TO fistula depend upon the type of TO fistula which type is there type 1 to type 5 that we have just discussed and depending upon these types sign and symptom may be frothy and white bubbles in the mouth coughing and choking when child is feeding vomiting blue color of skin or sinusis especially when the baby is feeding difficulty in breathing abdominal distension excessive salivation or drooling so these are the mean sign and symptom which appears now diagnostic investigation how you will identify that this is to fistula number one physical examination and history taking whenever we complete this process properly we can we can suspect that yes there may be to fistula then other we can check other presence of other sign and symptom and for confirming we pass a rubber catheter into the stomach if it is blocking at some distance it means there is atresia and we may take x-ray examination by using opaque catheter insertion in the stomach so we can clearly uh, see the picture where it is stopping okay so we can confirm now treatment of TO fistula there is only surgical management of TO fistula we need to do surgery an operation to repair the esophageal atresia and TO fistula is usually done soon after birth because it is life threatening condition surgical intervention depend upon the type of TO fistula it includes closing of fistula and anastomosis between both sides or both ends of esophagus what is anastomosis anastomosis is when two tubes they are connected together and stitches this operation is known as anastomosis so anastomosis is done after surgery the child will be kept in ICU and placed in incubator the child may need antibiotics to prevent infection a ventilator or machine to help them breathe a tube into chest to drain fluids or air that might be trapped oxygen inhalation may be needed and painkiller medicines may be needed now we come to nursing management of TO fistula take care the nursing care should start from the time of birth the nurse should suspect a TO fistula in units when the infants are excessively drooling the doctor should be notified the infant may be treated in in incubator to maintain body temperature and oxygenation the infants should be treated in high head high positions means head end should be elevated frequent suctioning of pharynx and esophagus and continuous drainage of secretion may be necessary this is still surgery air passes need to be maintained clear and oxygen needs to be administered vital signs are monitored abdominal distension is also checked recorded and informed to the pediatrician sometimes gastrostomy tube is placed to remove the secretions from the stomach and to relieve distension so proper gastrostomy nursing care is to be provided post operatively special care of nasogastric post anastomotic tube should be given to prevent withdrawal or injury to the operative site the infant's elbow should be restrained so that it cannot be pulled accidentally by the child himself when the healing is complete test feeding is started and if test feeding is tolerated then proper feeding is given after some time the oral feeds are started with small amount of clear fluid 
and then advanced to the breast milk core formula. Other nursing interventions include all the nursing care of hospitalized child that we have discussed in the previous lecture under heading nursing care of hospitalized child. Those should be included in this and you can watch that video from my channel or you can click on i button so that you can watch that lecture. Thank you for watching this video. You can prepare your notes by visiting my blog that is mynursingstudents.blogspot.com and you can follow my twitter handle for updated videos at student underscore support.